guys and welcome to the internet. I want to say one thing. Mm-hmm. I know it's annoying, but every year as the seasons change, I like to tell Rosie that what? Dog her. Oh, did I rub up against you? <laughs> it was a cheap shot. It was cheap. There's nothing funny about cheap shots that hurt people's feelings. Is there? <laughs> Group hug. Every time we take the dog out for her last walk, all year I, round, I can't get over how dark it gets so soon when yeah. summer is transitioning into autumn. Yeah, and I decide to point it out every time. It's half seven. Can you even believe it's this dark at half seven? Well, say goodbye to summer. What's that? Yeah, say, say goodbye to summer. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just said. I know, and in the summer, you're like, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. You wouldn't believe it's eight o'clock. You eight o'clock, it. Rosie. It's getting lighter, eight Rosie. O'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's eight. light. In the winter, you're like, wow, only about seven, it's dark now. Soon it'll be six. I'm such a pessimist in the winter. I know. It's like autumn suddenly just like comes. I'm like, oh, do you know what? Let's just chuck in the towel. Let's chuck it, it's dark. I've got SAD. Piss off. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're so affected by your surroundings. Today we're in TK Maxx and she went, oh, it's raining. Do you ever feel sick for no reason when it rains? I feel sick for no reason when it rains. I was like, I hate you. We live in England. It rains every day, hey, even in the summer. Hey, I hate hey, you. the transition from summer to autumn, winter affects my brain. Some people have like deep Seriously? flooding. Some people have fires at the moment. And Rosa's like, don't like it when it rains. That makes me look terrible, that doesn't mean, it? Uh, I all, mean, that makes me look awful. We can all make awful. each other look terrible. Yeah, we can. Well, you do it on your own. All right, babe, calm down. She's a dog. She doesn't know that we're filming. She's a dog. You want... No, right, 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 right. right. Don't tell me I want a dog. No. Don't piss me off. Why? Don't piss me off. But I'm on my period. Do, don't piss me... Do not piss me off. What? Saying, oh, she's a dog. She's going to make noise. And you wanted <laughs> the dog. Yeah. You wanted a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what what did I want? A lot of things. Like? Like marriage. Yeah. A, like a good relationship. Yeah. A peaceful, tranquil relationship. Yeah. Oh, guess Stability. what? Life's to hit you in the face. Yeah, you I can't know. always have what you want. I know. I wanted a father and I never got one. Never. It never worked out for me. <laughs> I was really, really ill and uh, didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want anyone to worry because our tour's coming up soon. It's yes. really soon. Yes, it's next Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, I didn't want to panic anyone because mm. obviously still going, getting yeah. over it. Yes. Been to the doctors, getting as well as I can. Yay. <laughs> I'm worried because my throat feels a little tense. <coughs> so I'm trying to steal my <coughs> thunder. It feels a little raw, like I'm feeling a little dry, like a slight tickulation in the back there. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully I'll be I'll be okay. Can you not breathe on me? It's been really sad. It honestly has because I've been so desperate to cuddle Rose. And when I first got it, we're like, right, we're going on tour soon. I was like, I don't want Rose to get it. Um, I was like, so we'll do our best to not infect her. I moved my toothbrush away from her toothbrush. In so case the, it kissed it. In case the germs jumped. Rose was like, I think I'm gonna have to not sleep in the bed with you because you're ill and I don't wanna lay next to you. And I like, in the night I was like, Bleh, like coughing and spluttering and stuff. But I was like, no, don't leave me. And then I used my manipulations and I was like, boop boop. Um, and I never got a night alone with my fan fiction. Hmm? No. I get really travel sick, but I'm not fussy. I'm not I'm not a fussy eater. I'm not like particular, mm-hmm. but there are a few things that I just cannot do. One of them is being a passenger in someone else's car. Mm. I literally have to look at an Uber and I'm like, mm. it's true. I can just I, cannot do it. Can I give you a compliment? I mean, you always, yeah. I mean, you are a really good driver. Thank you. You're a really good I'm driver. I'm a now. really good driver. You are crazy. I never knew what bad drivers lots of people are I know. Until I been in your car and I was like, wow. It's smooth sailing like our relationship. Oh, that's nice. And then I might hit a pothole. I want to talk about what Rose did for me today because it was really romantic. It was probably, honestly, it was probably the most romantic thing she's ever done for me. That's such a load of crap. No, in my mind, it really helped me. How about the time we were walking through Worcester in the early days of our relationship and we were in that shop, I don't know, overpriced from Worcester. A cornucopia. It wasn't cornucopia, all right. It was the it was the shop with the dress, and you said, "Oh, I like oh, that yeah, dress." Yeah. And I thought, oh, "Bank." She, she likes it. Was it called bank? bank. It's probably gone bust now. It has. Oh no, other. And she was like, "I like that dress," and I was like, "Mental note. What do I do the next day? Buy the dress. Forty eight pounds. It was. Never forget a mathematical figure. I don't know what that's about. I never forget a number I ever. I, I never forget. Should a I number. give you a number at the beginning seven. of this? Seven. 
seven is the amount of people you slept with during that first ten months. <laughs> I don't think we've ever told anyone it was seven. It was seven. So I saw this dress and I was like, right, I'm just going to take it and put it on your front door in a little oh. baggie. And I put a little card on it saying something like, I love you despite every single one of your flaws. No, there I, are many. I remember I what you them? said. I what? remember what you I said. Say? You said you were proud of my achievements. Well, not having sex with a guy for a week. <laughs> That's really cool. That was really cool. That's really, that was really mean. Also, you negated all my achievements. What were they? So today, okay, we went shopping mm. and I realised very quickly that I really needed to go poop poop. Um, so basically, poop poop. Um, yeah. So basically, and, and Rose was like, do you want to go in this public toilet that's right here? And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just going to hold it in. We'll be home. It, we just at five minutes. We literally pop into the shops and then we're going to be home, right? So we started walking around and then Rose was like, let's go H&M. And then you were browsing and I was like, okay, I need to go. I can't do anything. I've got to go, right? And I don't like going in public toilets. Who does, okay? And Rose was like, we've got a load of bags. I'm going to wait like outside and hold the bags and you go up to the loo on your own. I got in there, there was loads of people, there was people either side of me. I could hear every tiny little drip. It was deadly silent. Oh, a cubicle sandwich. Yeah. No one wants to be in there like that. I think the woman next to me also wanted to poo and I think we were having this thing where we were waiting each other out. So I texted Rose and I was like, Rose, I can't do it. I need help. A few minutes later, I hear her walk in because she walks in and goes, <clears throat> right. Yeah. So you knew it was me? Yeah, you kept obviously. making these coughs, which I knew it was you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's making these, like, smug noises, like, eh. <laughs> with this thing where we go, yeah. Like, she was walking around doing it. I was like, what's she going to do? And she washed her hands and blow dried them three times. Not once, not twice, but thrice to make noise so I could release the baggage. They must have thought the other people that, that, you had OCD? that, that I literally just came in to wash my hands and go, <laughs> Did <laughs> <laughs> they look at you? I mean, yeah. I'm a little concerned that I'm getting ill. Question, if you're getting ill, can we not kiss? No. I, is that because you're worried it's someone else is ill? Mm. That's the reason. No, tell the truth. Oh, have you found it really hard not sleeping in the same room and stuff? No, I found it really hard the kissing and cuddling's been hard. Actually, we have, we have slept in exactly the same we, room. We, we said did. we wouldn't and we did. We said we wouldn't and we did. And I move my toothbrush every day though. And then I had sex, but you weren't involved. I know. Well, I kind of was. Just in a safe distance so you couldn't get ill. No. No! no. Do you know what? I love the dog, but I also hate her. What are you going to do? You well, wanted a dog. Was... You wanted a dog, not me. What's oh. she doing? Oh, I'm going to get upset over nothing. Oh, I'm going to look out the window, see my own ugly reflection, and bark at it for several hours. Do you want to look <laughs> No, I'm not letting her out. She's not going out. I think that's if a... you're going to disagree with me on this, you're going to annoy me. Do you okay. know why? why? Because I get up every night... Every no, night without fine. Wilma, you're contributing to stress. I get up every night and I sort her out. I promise what I can't do you do? Oh, you promise, do you? you well, promise. I'd rather do early mornings than you do the late nights. How is that fair? Well, it's shifts. Shifts. And you get the easy shift. Right? I really want the audience to vote at home. Hmm. Centre parting. What are we thinking? I mean... Yeah, okay. Right, okay, fine, okay. fine, oh. fine. I'm sorry I shouted. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if I'm right on this, but I certainly am sure that you have got to be wrong. She said, you know what, Rose? Sometimes I take my glasses off. I can't see a thing because I'm short-sighted. I'm really short-sighted. And it's really horrible. I really panic. And I'm like, oh, that's a horrible story. And then she says, but the thing is, when I'm old, old people always get long-sighted. Yeah, they do. Old people get long-sighted. That's why they look at things far away like this. So she said, so if anything, I'll actually have better eyesight when I'm all <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, Do you think, let me as a short-sighted young adult, yeah. your eyesight's going to improve with age yeah. to the point where you're actually completely the opposite? Yeah, let me tell you why. So old people get long-sighted, right? Right, short-sighted, Rose, is when you see things only within a short distance. So, yeah, I know. So Our marriage was a bit short-sighted of me. What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> but if sometimes... Why are you bullying? I, I, I bully, right? A little no. bit, a little bit. No, but you, you, babe, you just looked at me with sheer less panic. Be less bully. <laughs> I kiss you, but I don't want your evil. So if my vision turns long-sighted, 
and I start to see things further away, surely that's improving my short-sightedness and meaning that I only see things further away. So surely that makes it better. Science. Flynn has just got in that suitcase. I can't the point how? How? <laughs> disappeared. Wait, hold on, hold on. I need to put my glasses on. Is it open? Won't you wait 25 years and see if you can see it then? Oh my God, it is. <laughs> what is it in the suitcase? If you get chalk, right, and, and draw, draw a circle, circle they, they get in it. it. I think Why? I'm not Do being rude at all. I'm not being rude at all, but if I did that with you, you'd get in it and you'd sit there. Yeah, I would. I'm the kind of person who would fall into hypnosis before they started the hypnosis. Oh my gosh, should we try I feel it? Like I Let's didn't... try it. Yeah. Close your eyes, Tracy. Okay, if you hear any sounds, that's just the cat in the suitcase. Do so I'm going to count down from turn. Wait. Oh, I like that. Tan. Six. Five. Two. One. Now you probably felt that was very fast. That's because you have now fallen into a deep sleep. So if you could just start marking my methods for one sec. I'm very attracted to you. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and think, what is it that scares me most about the dark? Is it Babadook? Um, or is it Pennywise? Recently it's been Pennywise. Interesting. Like, if you could just like stop having sexual attraction towards these things, I think that's gonna be one of the key things to get over this. Or, on the flip side, maybe you should actually make it less scary by making it more sexual. Okay, do you suggest my partner dress up as Pennywise and then... That's Cause... absolutely not what I'm saying. What is it about the dark? scares you. I always worry that someone stood behind me. Right, well it's definitely not your dad. Rosie, imagine yourself in a very dark place right now. It's probably like your early 20s. I remember that time. Now think about what scares you most. I want you to look at it directly in the face and I want you to say, you do not control me. <laughs> you do not control me. What are you looking at right now? Pennywise. Pennywise. You haven't even seen the film. I know, it scares me, the advert scares me. Okay, Rizzy, I want you to try a different tact. Hmm. I want you to say, you are not the boss of me. You are not the boss of me. Exactly. How do you feel? A bit better. A bit better, exactly. So my Canadian Rude Island methods really do really do work. I mean, I've cured myself of like so many things. Like, first of all, um, insecurity, yeah, don't have it. Um, anxiety, don't have it. Um, being poor, yeah, I don't have it. I can't believe we're going on tour on Wednesday. I know. That came around fast. I know, it? it did come around fast, like someone else I know. Can't wait. All right, guys, I'm gonna tell you a story. The other day, when Rosie and I were looking around at properties, um, Rosie saw a real winner online, mm -hmm. did you not? Absolutely obsessed with it. And Rosie being Rosie decided that she'd ring the estate agent straight away to make sure she got a viewing. Okay, yeah, I, I was like all in. I was like, this is the house, we're gonna buy it. Like, here it is. I was like, I'm ringing now. It was but the weekend. I was on right move, which is how I spend all my spare time. And I was like, by the way, not spawned by right move, but could be. Hello. And I was like, I'm gonna ring them ASAP, even though it's the weekend. I was like, if, they, if they're open or if they're not, I'll just leave a message. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Rosie gets on it, because Rosie being Rosie gets on a job, she gets on it fast. Mm -hmm. Rosie decides to call the estate agent. Yeah. Now let me tell you something about Rosie, right, which you might not know. Rosie has really bad social paranoia. Mm. Like, really bad. Mm. She'll think of conversations that happened like 10 years ago and think, oh, I shouldn't have said this, oh yeah, I should have done that. She really punishes herself. It's mm. actually really sad. I have a phobia of being cringe basically which is difficult because i spent a lot of my time being cringe <laughs> so i <laughs> <laughs> she called the estate agent yeah but unfortunately they didn't answer right. so it went straight to voicemail right so i said to rosie leave a message i'm gonna jump in yeah i'm gonna jump in here so i i was like right hi this is rosie sporton i live at blah 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 okay i you don't i don't normally say that but there was a reason I said it, okay? I was like, my email address is this, my number is this, this is who I am. I was like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the property. Uh, the property address is blah, 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 <laughs> no. That's your address. Do. <laughs> and then I went upstairs and I cried 
because I'd read the estate agent's address <laughs> to, to the, the estate agent. agent and said I was obsessed with it. I was like, really? They probably, they might pull a prank call, but I left my actual details. <laughs> and then, Rosie. no, do you know what's the most insane? You know why I cried? Because Rose was like, it's cool. Rose came up and said, she let me cry for a bit, right? And she was like, it's cool. We can save it. Let's just ring them back, make a joke about it. She was kind of like, why did you just hang up? And I was like, I couldn't cope with the pressure. Rosie. I was like, Rosie. You, she was like, you could have just said, oh, whoops, that's your address. Uh, I was talking about this property. I was like, Mm, no, I couldn't handle no, it. I just what I loved, right, is your thought process was so transparent in your voice. You were like, you heard the whole realization of what happened. You were literally like, hi, I'm interested in this property. Now, the property is. No. No. I actually said that. <laughs> you actually went, Rosie. I went, no, no way. That's your address. Be <laughs> Under the pillow, so I was like, I'm staying here. I was like, I'm giving up my job. You left I'm all leaving of town. Your information. It's difficult because I think, well, first of all, Maltese would never ever make that mistake, but if she did, I think she'd like conquer it. Like, <sighs> hey, yeah, sorry, I went through a tunnel. Um, I believe that your information is actually wrong on your website, and I believe this is actually your problem and a miscommunication of what you've put online. When I called up my first driving instructor, the woman that I had driving instructions with, I rang her up. Driving instructions. Yeah, I had driving instructions, instructions on how to yeah, drive. Yeah, don't fail. Driving lessons. <laughs> My name is blah blah blah. I live at blah blah blah. Can you be my driving instructor? Bring me back. My number is 07. Um, wait, oh, 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 I forgot my number. Ah, B. Oh I remember when you did it. You know, I was literally like, this is your number. And you went, um, hi, 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 hi. And then I called her back with my other number. I did, I did. did you call I, uh, no, no, I think I texted her and then when I met her, I said to her, did you listen to my voicemail? She went, no, and I went, don't listen to it, but I knew she had. All right, guys, that's it from Rosie and I for another week. We will see you hopefully soon, but we are going on tour next yes. week for 10 days, so we're going to be pretty preoccupied pleasing people in North yes. America. We will be performing on stage every night in a different place in N America, so if that's, uh, if our video is late, I'm sorry, but I am busy. She doesn't look sorry. Look sorry. I'm not sorry. I've they been are Ill. Really sorry. Sorry, I'm busy. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And we'll seems, see you next seems week. Seems simple, doesn't it? Like, comment, and subscribe. I know, yeah. hit the bell button. Just do it all. Yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe. Then I won't have to say it every week. Go the extra mile, hit the bell button. It's called a CTA, call to action is what we call mm -hmm. it in the biz. It's called the adpocalypse. Here's another call to action. Mm -hmm. Hit top off. <gasps>